Hi, this is Tim from the whistleblower.com. Kickbacks in the healthcare industry. What are they? Why are they bad? What can you, as a whistleblower, do about them? What is a kickback? It's a bribe paid to a buyer's agent. Like this, I'm looking to buy a video camera. I don't know much about video, so I asked my brother Matt to help me decide where to go, what features I need, how much to pay. If one of the possible sellers says to Matt, dude, I'll give you 50 bucks to tell him to buy my camera, and 100 bucks if you tell him he should pay full price, you don't negotiate these things. That's a kickback. Matt sold me out to get the 50 bucks or 100 bucks. And you think, dude, your own brother selling you out for 100 bucks? That's bad. But what about your doctor? The person you trust to cure your cancer. Sadly, Kickbacks are a particularly pervasive problem in the healthcare industry because healthcare is complicated. And as a patient, it's hard for us to tell which treatments we need or which provider is better. So we rely on the medical judgment of doctors, hospitals, other healthcare providers. And many, most of these people are highly ethical and honest, but some aren't. And all of them are human. The reality is there's a lot of money to be made from a referring doctor's decision about where to send their patients. All of these, all these people want referrals. And studies have shown that unfortunately, if a doctor owns a share of a clinical laboratory, he or she will send their patients to that lab and to order more tests usually. Same thing for ownership of a diagnostic imaging center. Buku CTs and MRIs and ultrasounds on the way. Or if that doctor is able to buy into the profits of a joint venture. Ambulatory surgical center, dialysis center, medical equipment, distributorship, lab, imaging center, any of those things... Profits drive decision-making. It's sad, but it's true. It's human nature. The doctor is a paid speaker for a drug company, gets paid to conduct sham clinical studies, or go on supposed advisory council trips to fancy resorts on the beach. Or if the doctor is paid a bunch of money as a consultant or medical director, Don't do much work, but get paid a lot of money by someone who wants your referrals. It's not just doctors who get kickbacks. Hospitals are often in a position to send a lot of business to other healthcare providers. Companies that treat patients after they leave the hospital. DME companies, home health agencies, nursing homes too. They're often offered kickbacks, money, and especially free stuff or consulting services to get referrals for prescription drugs, physical and occupational therapy, transfers to hospice or other follow-up care. So the federal government and many states have recognized this problem and responded by passing laws that prohibit paying doctors or other providers kickbacks to influence where they send their patients. Various laws, but the core is the same. It's illegal to give anything of value to influence providers' decisions about where to send their patients. So what can a whistleblower do if they know about this kind of fraud? Often the best and most direct option is to file a case under the False Claims Act. False Claims Act allows a whistleblower to work with the Department of Justice to help investigate the fraud and hold the fraudsters accountable. Kickback tainted referrals under both the Stark Law and the Anti-Kickback Statute, are false claims. By filing a False Claims Act case, you can help the government fight this fraud, and if successful, you get to share a portion of the amount recovered. So I hope this discussion of kickbacks in the healthcare industry and the damage that they can do has been helpful. If you have questions, if you want to talk about a specific situation, and especially if the False Claims Act might be the right way to try and address fraud, please feel free to contact me at thewhistleblower.com. Thanks.